Oh my, is that a g- Sis, run! Run! This man has been shot 18 times and you're still reloading. Hey guys, it's your girl Aisha, aka Geek X Tech Chic, and we are back with another episode of Moving. We're now on to episode four, which is called The Secret. So the last episode, we kind of followed uh, Bung Sok and Hisu. They basically have been getting closer as friends, and we got to see more of Hisu really diving into this whole PE major thing that she wants to get into. Lots of training, lots of uh, you know exercise so that she can really do well. And then we discovered that the main reason she decided to go with the PE major is because it's going to be something that's local. She won't have to go to a school that's abroad. And because she can train, via, well, sorry, since her principal will also be training, no, homeroom teacher, sorry, will be training her as well. She won't have to pay for cram schools and tutors, etc. which if you're familiar or not familiar with Korean culture, getting into university is a huge, huge deal there, especially getting into the big three. And so a lot of kids feel like, or parents, I should say, feel like the kids have to do all this extra schooling in order to get into these universities. They're notoriously hard to get into. So yeah, you in the episode, we heard her mention cram school a bunch of times, and these all cost a lot of money. And we already know from previous episodes that unfortunately, Husu's father is just getting by financially, and he's just opened a restaurant. So he's extended himself quite a bit. And so to get more money would just be more stress. So she's really working to make sure she can get into this PE program. And we discover through her training, she actually does this jump, lands really badly, and it looks like she should have broken her ankle, but she walks away from it like it's nothing. So we don't, still don't know what Hisu's power is, but it's looking like it has something to do with being able to heal super fast or maybe being invincible or invulnerable. We're not sure, something along those lines. So anyway, we see that uh, besides that... Um, did we see, yeah, we did see that the, the delivery driver is looking for the son of Mr. Electricity. He went to the school, but he didn't, he just found the school basically. So I think he's going to be watching the school going forward, seeing if he can figure out who the son is so he can complete his mission. And then at the end of the episode, we see that he has been basically putting two and two together where Bong Sok's concerned because a few things are just not making sense to her as far as the physics of how he's moving. And it finally hits her that she, she must something must be different about him. And at the end of the episode, we see poor Bong Sok who always gets triggered by the uh, physical touch whenever Hisu touches him, usually, of course, very innocently. Of course, his hormones and everything spike and then he floats. And we saw the last, uh, so the, at the end of the last episode that she, of course, was just checking on his wound and it sent him soaring. So now he really can't explain his way out of this one because she saw that front and center, no excuses. So I'm excited to see how that's going to go in that conversation, but I have a feeling he's going to be okay with it. Maybe a little upset that he didn't tell her, but again, they've only known each other for a little while. So I think she's going to understand considering that she's got a secret herself. So I'm ready to jump into this episode. Right before I do, just a reminder that I do a lot of reactions here. And if you want to support me on this journey or see other things that I'm doing, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. And if you like this video, please throw some, show some love to the like button as well as leaving comments below. I love hearing what you guys are thinking and what you're feeling and how you're, how you're just taking in all this good stuff. All right, that out of the way, guys, let's get into the episode right about now. Also warning, uh, I have to use a bit of natural light right now, so if it's a little unreliable, so my apologies if, if I kind of turn into a ghost here and there. <laughs> we gotta get you aiming, buddy. All these years of floating, you should know how to direct yourself. Yeah, you think she can lift that? Bruv! Use the wall, kick off the wall. Bro, this damsel thing is not working. Come on now. I don't get hurt. Yeah, it's like you're gonna have to like, it's the touch, please. Bongsoka. <laughs> Yeah, hold on to the railings there. Oh, no. Oh, but the principal already knows. Oh, 
Did he see all of that? I mean, he must know. Because that guy's suspicious. The way he was calling someone right after the truck driver was there last episode. He just not, he ain't just a security guard. I bet you he's got powers. Maybe he's a retiree. But he definitely saw any, everything. You saw that he had the cameras on. But maybe this was good. At least if, you know, he has to get used to getting touched. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure if it was any random person, it wouldn't have been the same, but. Oh, let's see how his mom handles it. Mom be pounding them cutlets daily. Forearms of Thor. She does have really good hearing. She's like, what? Well, he's like, she has chingus. <laughs> chingu. Mm, not a yoja chingu, just a chingu who's a yoja. <laughs> Mom, thanks. Wow, we know where he gets it from. That's right, you better prop yourself. Mm -hmm. I know I look like his sister. Mm -hmm. Let go. Mm. Can I have my hand back? No? His mom just wanted to make sure she's real. It's like, I just gotta make sure you're, you're flesh. Here have 16 portions worth of food. Like she can't eat all that. <laughs> She's so weird. Poor baby. He never had a chance. He's like, so I would, what's your point? That's like an appetizer for me. Why do you even bother doing this? Because you just smash up the place anyway. Then why didn't you lock your door? Oh, my mistake. Codename? So he's still trying to find out about the kid. Oh no, asking her, she's gone any. Please say no. None of your business. Okay, well, you've fully crossed into creepy. That won't kill him, but I appreciate the sentiment. Maju. <laughs> Okay, so he already knows you have children. Indestructible bastard! Mm. Go for the head! Why does nobody shoot this kid in the head? Okay, sis! She said I'm not playing! Oh. Oh, she's got that eagle eye! Okay, sis. Okay. Get out. Why are you fighting this man? I don't know why anyone is just trying to leave. But you know what? They always over overestimate their powers, clearly. As soon as you see that he can regenerate, I'm out. I'm leaving. I'm leaving and I'm blowing up my shop. Oh my God, how many guns does she have? Oh, so she can see through things? So she needs light to see, I guess. So that's where. It... Oh my God! <laughs> She's got a gun everywhere. <laughs> Lord, none of these are legal. <laughs> oh my! Is that a? Sis, run! Run! This man has been shot 18 times, and you're still reloading. Jump out the window. He's not gonna take you out in broad daylight. Go. But he's definitely gonna kill you now. He's mad. Leave, sis. I'm 
saying all this, I don't even know I'm supposed to be rooting for her, to be honest. Like, these could all be really evil people that he's taking out for all we know. We have no idea what, the, what these people were doing before they retired. No, you can't feed, yeah. Hand to hand's not your thing, sis. Oh, damn, okay. I hate seeing a woman get beat, though. You really think a mother would ever tell you where her children are? Clearly you don't have kids of your own. Whoever that is, I'm rooting for them. Hmm. Yeah, because her parents do. Okay, that's sad. Yeah, I was like, the school photos are right there. This man with his, you need to stop preparing so much chicken in advance, bro. Made on, made to order. Wait, maybe he's that, the name that she just said. What if it's him? That'd be crazy. He seems like the least, like, possible. I don't know, I'm just throwing theories out there. Isn't that the mall where yeah, dude is just, oh no. Let's have him not deliver to a crime scene. I don't know, maybe I'm wondering if the dad's special too because if Hisu has abilities. Because we don't want you to be sick? <laughs> she keeps staring, oh my God, the pressure. I wonder if he's gonna tell his mom that she saw. Mm. Ma'am, no, you've got to be kidding me. She's gonna burst! Oh, she's sweet. I'm sure she also misses having a mom fawn over her. What the? It's so, but I keep forgetting that in other, a lot of other cultures, eating late is much more common, like super late. Because you know in the West, most restaurants are done by like 10 o'clock at night, tops. But I know in a lot of Asian countries, restaurants are open till like 4 or 5 in the morning. She's sweet. Seriously, I was have been like, I gotta watch my girlish figure, so I'm just gonna have to <laughs> cut down. That woman literally cut a whole orchard into that plate. Like, <laughs> understanding. She's a good person that she recognized that and didn't get weird about it. Oh, she just recognized because she barely touches him. Mm-hmm. They're alone upstairs with hormones and pheromones. Fair enough. Make sure you're not crazy. He's like, sis, I'm always weighed down. <laughs> She's carrying this plate of apples everywhere like an offering. <laughs> it must be so cathartic for him to actually have someone come into his world. Because even though his mom is lovely, it's quite lonely. Leave him alone! Okay, he's panicking. Don't you make fun of him, ma'am. Boys often have issues with involuntary responses to hormones, okay? We are able to keep our stuff together. He sue you, mix. I know. Liar. <laughs> Not the shake. That's 
Mama's going to beat some ass tonight. She's like, what is going on up there? You're mean. Why would you do this to him? This may not be bad, though. He really has to learn to control that. Hmm. Now she's thinking she's telling on herself. Yeah, but the kind that float, hun. Thank you. Oh. That's super hearing. It's not to her. This is a very good lesson, folks. No matter how weird you think you are, there's somebody out there who's going to be your kind of weird or is going to like your kind of weird. So be you. See? Ah, uh, he just fell deeper in love. You better put another weight on, son. Aw, oh, mom's like, she's a good one. I don't have to kill her. She really needs to invest in a food processor. It's so long. She's like, see her off. Go see her off. Yes, gentlemen, my mom will beat me if I do not. Also, she's going to run and you're kind of slow. Bless your heart. But I agree, I don't like the idea of girls going home late at night alone. Although Korea is not quite as dangerous as other places. She's my friend who's a girl! Hmm. You're not slick. Your mom knows you. <laughs> She's like, I've been here for hours waiting for y'all to come down. I don't know if she's got a crush, but she definitely likes him. <laughs> you can't fire him up like that, mom, and then let him go. <laughs> I like it. You are a dinosaur. The spirit is there. Brontosaurus. His mom is very trusting, but I guess she's had to teach him how to be outside without float floating away. Wait, can he? But, uh, uh, sir, I don't know if that's a good idea. You remember the last time you ran in the rain? Or you were outside in the rain without no weight? You almost floated off the kingdom. She's like, is that a ghost? It must be. That's yo man. <laughs> that is yo man. You may have to catch him. Nailed the landing. Now she's gonna miss her bus. Hope you're happy. She's like, okay, sir. Chua? Chua? Ah, okay. Kurigo? Alright, well, I guess it's a little early for I like, like you. Uh huh. Okay, maybe you got a little hard eyes going on. Shh, this ass is still here. Please, please protect her daddy. Yeah, you're a loser. Regeneration is literally the only power you have. I mean, it's helpful. Great, now he knows where to find you. <laughs> I know it's gonna come back to bite us, I know it. 
주문한 지가 언제인데 이제 와요. 치킨 다 식었겄네. 죄송합니다. 길은 잘못 찾았어요. 뭐라노? 이 양반이 말 같은 소리를 해야지. 이거. Someone wants a free meal. 죄송합니다. 그런 배달 장사를 하지 말아야지. Oh my god. Just give him the free chicken and let's move on. I don't like bullies. I don't like bullies. Just give him the free chicken. It's not worth it. Oh. You're such a man. Man bullying an old man. Hmm. Yeah, I'll get yours. He wasn't scared. I'm telling you, something's up with him. He's probably the strongest one. I hope so. Well, maybe Bong Sook's mom. The two of them together, but they can't be together. But you know, together. Okay. Well, you better pray nobody recorded your behind floating like bloody Hulk. S sir. Right under the street lights. In Korea too. Like there's cameras everywhere in Korea. Everywhere. Uh-oh. Who, who are you talking to, Boo? Is that your daddy? Who was the man in the sky? Who was the man in the sun? Was that real? He was in the same jacket. I mean, if his dad's a flyer, it makes sense. I'm wondering how these generational powers work. Like, do they all get the same ones? So many questions. Have you, you, your mom with her super hearing, you gonna sneak past her, huh? Ooh, new hairdo today, I noticed. Mm-hmm, need to look good for your girl, huh? And caught. Mm. The fact that you have to keep saying, really. She knows you're lying, but let him. Yeah, and the new hair. Just gonna see about the other hairstylist now. Impossible. Really? From the floater? He's like, I float. I'm not super strong. Right? It's like, I don't know if I'm liking the swoop. I don't know if the swoop's for you. <laughs> yeah, thank you. I think you're more of a middle part kind of guy. I think you should tell his mom. I think she already knows, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I can't get her? I don't know if I trust him with it, though. He's a bit bumbly, but he's got motivation. Oh, no, we want to know. So she's not going to tell the whole truth. Or you just heal real fast. Mm. Oh, okay, that's why she feels so guilty. <laughs> no, well, <laughs> you, you've lied to him a lot. You have to expect him to jump to this conclusion. It sounds a bit crazy. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> mm. <laughs> Get 
Get in her meeting yet? And whoever's listening in the gym. Anyone? Oh, and that's how we end the episode. Okie dokie. Now we finally have confirmation of Hisu's power, which as I said, I kind of picked up on in the last episode when she broke her ankle and then it was perfectly fine. She's obviously a lot better at covering for her power when she has mishaps than Bong Sok is, but Bong Sok's is obviously a lot more eye-catching, I guess one would say. Because I mean, for her, unless someone literally sees one of her bones go completely like out of joint or something, they probably just think they miss saw, you know, they didn't see something properly. But floating is pretty hard to ignore, <laughs> you know, especially since he doesn't exactly, well, actually, no, I was gonna say he doesn't jet up, but apparently he can go up pretty quickly if he's really excited. So I feel like he probably can propel himself. Like they're calling it floating right now. And that's basically what we've seen. But I have a sneaking suspicion he can fly. Like literally like propel himself and fly. He just hasn't learned to control it because obviously his mother has been so concerned with keeping his secret that she really hasn't spent a lot of time helping him figure out how to actually actively control it. And of course, that could just also be for his protection because she didn't want him to get cocky with it or do anything silly. We saw in uh, episode two that she kind of got after him when he tried to show off at the playground, which really he was just doing because he wanted to have friends. But she was like, nah, I don't want you to get into your head that using your power is what makes you special. So yeah, for that reason, I guess she hasn't taught him to like maybe try to expand on it. But considering that these soups, these older soups are getting erased or deleted, I think she's going to have to, like, something's going to have to change. Like, these guys have to learn to defend themselves because the older ones definitely knew how to use their powers. And it looks like they learned how to use them defensively and offensively. And so far, from poor Bong Sok, he's just really trying to keep himself grounded, which is understandable. But again, I feel like if he can learn to be more, like, assertive with it, he'll learn, he'll learn how to ground himself without all the weights because there's got to be a way, right? Um, but yeah, a kind of a cute episode in that, you know, Bong Sook now knows that Hisu really is his friend. Like this isn't just, this isn't just her being nice. Cause up until now, I think he really believed that everything she was doing was just him being, her being nice to him. Um, Cause he of course doesn't have the best esteem, which is not really because of any, well, I should say, I guess it's just a combination of him having to isolate himself because of his ability. And just the fact that he isn't like other kids, like even outside of the being able to float thing, he's a very kind and very altruistic and very kind of, I don't want to use the word simple, but he is kind of a simple guy. Like he really isn't very layered and complex. Like kind of what you see is what you get. And that doesn't necessarily gel well, especially in high school, right? That's kind of the age where the cool kids are usually the ones that are much different than him. So he probably just thinks that someone that in his mind is as beautiful and talented as he sued couldn't possibly like him outside of pity. And this episode, he found out that she really does like care about him. She really has been won over by how kind and direct and thoughtful that he is. And, you know, I like that his mom kind of spelled it out for him that, you know, again, I don't know about a crush. I don't know that he still really has a crush on him yet, but she does, you know, bring out the fact that, yeah, she walked you all the way home. She stayed here and ate way more food than she actually can eat. She sat there and, and ate that whole plate of apples, even though it took her like three hours. Like, a girl does not do all of that unless she cares about you, right? If you were just a passing thing, she would have done the bare minimum. So thankfully he saw that and his mom kind of said, hey, if you want to woo this girl, you're going to have to put in the effort just so you know. You can't just be sitting here eating in front of her. Like, you know, <laughs> you want more? You want her to be more than just a friend that's a, a girl, a friend that's a girl? You're going to have to put in the work to get the girlfriend. So I thought that was really cute and that she isn't really discouraging him from having that relationship. But again, I think at first she didn't think that he, that she knew about what's going on with Bong Sok, but the show has been kind of showing us, you know, the zoom ins to the mother's ear and her kind of like, and then if making kind of a sound, like when the powers are used, there's kind of a sound that goes off. And so I'm thinking that his mom must have super hearing at least, maybe there's more, but she seems to be able to hear things pr very precisely. And she heard basically their entire conversation. So I think she figured out that, or maybe she didn't because they didn't actually use the words in that conversation. They never really spoke specifically about his flying, but I'm, I don't know. We'll see whether or not his mom has inferred that she knows and just figures that since she said she won't tell anybody that they're good, but I don't know. We'll have to see. The mother's going to have to realize at some point though, that Bung Sok's going to have to trust someone at some point because she's not going to be around forever, right? So anyway, cute moments with them pretty much all episode. And they really were our focal, focal point with the exception of the delivery man finding yet another 
another soup and I can't even remember what her superhero name was, but she looks like she's able to see through walls and it also looks like she had an affinity for firearms. Maybe, I don't know if it was the fire, it had to be, I was going to say maybe it was directing the bullets, but no, because she did miss a few times. So I think she just really had a really good, something about the way her vision worked and maybe potentially being able to like figure out the trajectory of things. And um, yeah, it looks like she probably could have, like she figured out that he had regeneration, which we saw since episode one. Um, but I, I'm just so surprised that no one tries to run away from this guy. Like that's the part that I just don't understand. Like if you see that this guy's taken a bullet to the face and stab wounds and everything else and he's still walking, leave. Like homie's not gonna try and take you out in public. That's too big. Like just go in public and just make sure you stay in public going forward. Like, I don't know. I don't know why these people think they got to do everything on their own but maybe they like I said I think a lot of them just keep overestimating their skills and interesting that she said right before she died that you're just b-rate anyways so yeah I don't know maybe she was expecting that this might happen at some day because all these guys that she's all the people that this guy has unalived they've all kind of seemed unsurprised when they figured out who he was so I think either they did his job at one point or they just knew this might happen so yeah I don't know Anyways, he took her out, but asked her where her children were. Like any mother is going to give up the location of their children when you're trying to take them out. Like, really? So anyways, um, she's like, why do you, why don't you guys tell me? It's like, anyways, clearly something is wrong with your brain. Otherwise you would understand why a parent would not willingly give up their child unless they're evil. But anyways, he says that, okay, well, you're, they'll be at your funeral if nothing else. Right. So that's kind of a sad dying thought for her to have, but he's not wrong. So apparently he's got to just take out these whole family lines, but I'm hoping it's not going to be very easy because again, he knows what the, what the powers are of these parents, obviously, but I don't think he knows what the kids are. And I'm assuming whoever's sending him out there probably has no idea because like the fact that he has to ask whoever contracted him, I don't think they know if these people have kids or not. And if so, if their kids have powers. So that's probably the one advantage these kids will have. And I feel like they'll probably be stronger than him because I don't know, like I'm thinking this is a generational thing. So I don't know though. We have no idea how these guys even got powers in the first place. But anyhow, that's another player off the board thanks to the delivery guy. We saw him interact directly with Hisu's father. And again, Hisu's dad, I don't know. I feel like they're doing these interesting shots with him like when he was in the chicken place to when he was delivering to that whole interaction when he gave him the business card and then we see him delivering the chicken to the bullies and the bullies are really trying to like start something with him and him just kind of calmly it's the way he handled it right like these guys are being super disrespectful and again if you know a lot about korean culture you know that or know anything about korean culture you know that age hierarchy is huge there and so the way that this guy was talking to hisu's dad he knew he wasn't supposed to talk to him that way, but he was talking to him like, you know, just really disrespectfully. And in their culture, Hisu's dad would have been more than justified to pick a fight, so to speak. But you saw how he kind of sat there and you could see him almost considering retaliating, but instead he chose to bow and say, you know, yes, yeah, sorry, sorry. So I have a sneaking suspicion Hisu's dad's got a little something, something, but we're going to probably not going to see that till later on. But I feel like he might be, like I said, maybe the biggest badass that they have. Because if his powers are anything like Hisu, Hisu can't get hurt, aka she regenerates, which is exactly what this guy does. So how does a bad guy who's taking out people take out somebody who can't be taken out, right? We have a problem. I mean, there's probably a way. I feel like the only way to probably take out the delivery guy, you probably have to remove head from body. But anyways, uh, we'll see what happens though. I think Hisu's dad's going to be a surprise, uh, a very interesting surprise down the line. And also because there was a name drop, the, the salon lady said, I can't remember the name, the name of somebody like, who he's going to destroy you. So we don't know who that is, but I'm assuming he's probably somebody on the list. So he's probably super powerful. But again, I don't know if that's maybe Hisu's dad's code name or if it's somebody else. But point is, we got a lot more soups to see before the show is over. So... <laughs> Lots to look forward to, I suppose. But yeah, that was pretty much the episode. Again, super fun, really sweet. I really like the bonding between Hisu and Bong Sok. I feel like they're going to end up being somewhat of a power couple because with this guy is coming, I feel like there's going to be a showdown at the high school because it looks like a lot of these kids have converged on it, whether it's accidental or on purpose. But if that's the case, this guy is going to be coming there soon. And um, I kind of like the idea of maybe him taking on all these kids at once and seeing who, who walks away.
right? So anyway, that's pretty much it for the episode, guys. I hope you got enjoyed watching it with me. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and leave some comments below, and we will see you in the next episode.